This is how slow my PC takes to turn on with my old Toshiba hard drive. It's a minute and 25 seconds. That's more than enough time. And it's just to turn on. After I log in, so when I get to the desktop, it takes another minute or so for it to properly work like it normally would. You can tell it's still bidding up because of the icons that are like still appearing. But this is mainly the hard disk. And mine is a very bad one, obviously, till I installed this one. The Crucial MX500 is a really good drive. It's worth it. A lot of people are putting this top 10 spot of best SSDs in 2018. The Crucial released the MX500 on December 19th, 2017, so it's almost a year old. So when you open the box, you'll find the drive and this little square thing. This is the spacer. And what it does is that uh, it fills in the extra gap you might have between the drive and wherever you put it. But it's mostly made for laptops. I actually found this useful. I'll show you guys the comparison between the old hard disk and the new SSD I have now after I go over the installation process. In this bag, there are a few things that I needed in order to install the disk. I bought this on Amazon. The link will be in the description. It includes a mounting kit, a 4-pin male to dual 15-pin female SATA power cable, two SATA data cable with double head lock, 15-pin male to dual 15-pin female SATA power cable, 20 screws, and this little screwdriver. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up my PC and show you guys how to connect all the cables and just show you the physical part of the installation process. You can skip to this time to know how to set up the disk from the computer. Before you connect anything, I recommend you screw the drive into the mounting kit. This is how it's gonna go in. You got the drive screwed into the mounting kit, which is going to slide in the available hard drive slot. Mine are filled with cables. In this pile, I found the four pin female SATA power cable. Now that cable is going to plug into the four pin male cable found in the bundle you bought, just like this. Now one of the dual 15 pin female is going to connect to the 15 pin male to dual 15 pin female SATA power cable, which is then connected to the drive. I know, this sounds really complicated. Okay, so one of these SATA data cables from the drive connects directly to the motherboard. There might be another way for you, but that's how some people do it. So now that you have everything connected, you should be able to slide in the mounting kit to the open slot in your computer. Seal it in the slot and close it back up. Your PC is not going to have the drive set up, still gonna use the old one. You have to set it up and here's how. Turn your computer back on, it's still gonna be slow. Go on this website called Acronis. I'll have the link in the description. Download this software. It's made for Crucial, so it should be trustworthy. Acronis' software allows you to clone your drive. You need to clone your drive before you try to do anything with it. So once you have downloaded Acronis, open this software and go to Clone Disk. Click on that and then select Automatic. You can also do Manual if you know what you're doing, but I recommend Automatic anyway. Here you have to select the drive you want to be cloning from. That would be your old one. Press Next. It's going to load, then it'll bring you back to this window right here. But this time, you have to select the drive you're going to clone, so the crucial one. After a few minutes, it took about an hour for me, it's going to restart your computer. If you want your new hard drive to be the one to boot your PC, then you have to set that up, and here's how. Turn off your PC and unplug the old hard drive. When you turn it back on, your computer should recognize to boost your PC by using the current drive installed, which is your crucial. However, if this is not your case, when you boot your PC, you can go to the BIOS settings, so like before the login screen, change the drive you want to use to turn on your PC in the boot up settings. Now when you turn it back on, it should be using your Crucial. There, so now you finally got your Crucial installed and try turning it back on. This is how fast it was for me my first time. It's only 18 seconds and everything's loaded already. I timed how long it took to turn on with my old hard disk about eight times and it was an average of a minute and 23 seconds, and that's a lot. I timed my PC turning on with a new SSD, and it was an average of 21 seconds. That's almost a full minute difference. But with my old hard drive, I still had to wait like a couple minutes for, for everything to load, and that was like another couple minutes or so. But not with a new Crucial MX500, it, it like loads everything right away. Okay, so to conclude, I definitely recommend the 500 gigabyte Crucial MX500. It's about $90 on Amazon right now, and I don't think that's a bad price. Thank you for watching this video. Like if you want to see more content like this, and subscribe to my channel, Green Diamond.